Now to our GMA cover story. Bachelorette star Zach Clark says he had a normal childhood with a loving family, but in high school he started to experiment with drugs and alcohol and spiraled out of control until one day he decided to turn his life around. Now he's sharing his story to help others, and Ariel Reshef has that story. Take a look. Will you accept this rose? Absolutely. <laughs> this morning, Bachelorette star Zach Clark sharing intimate details of his battle with addiction after nearly a decade sober. Clark, who was candid with his now fiance Tasha about his past. Yeah, it was like touch and go. Like moments of like, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it to tomorrow kind of stuff. Revealing the depths of his darkest chapter. You went to great lengths to feed your addiction, even at one point going into surgery in order to obtain narcotics? I went into surgery and actually had my gallbladder removed just so I could make it a couple more days without going into withdrawal. Since high school, Zach says he lived life in the fast lane. Like I had a lot of nevers on my list, like I'll never do heroin, I'll never smoke crack, I'll ne you know, and all my nevers came true. In 2011, he checked into treatment and he says he's never looked back. I truly feel like I'm, I'm living in high definition. You know, like I wake up every morning and I open my eyes and I feel like I have a competitive advantage against the rest of the universe because I'm like sober and I know where I'm at. Zach helped found Release, an organization to help others recovering from addiction. When people go to treatment and they're coming back to the world and maybe they aren't ready to reintegrate back into the home, we get them for about three to six months and we help them to just learn what it means to be sober in, in the world. How did you work to reassure Tasha that you would never again revisit those demons of the past? I'm pretty comfortable and safe and secure in my sobriety today. You know, we've had those real open conversations. I don't want her to worry about that because it's not necessary. If something was to happen, like relapse does occur, you know, knock on wood, I don't I don't think I'm anywhere near that. And I would expect that at least initially that she would stick by me just like any other partner would stick by other challenging situations that we're presented with in life. The happy couple now living together in New York. Zach says he's living his dream. Our lives are so exciting and filled with so much joy and happiness. For Good Morning America, Ariel Reshef, ABC News, New York. Thank you, Ariel. Living in high definition, quite a phrase. Zach says from the beginning, Tasha stood by him and supported him, which is one of the things he loves about her most. And of course, everybody wants to know about wedding plans. Zach says they're still enjoying living a normal life or living a life like a quote unquote normal couple. And his immediate focus is planning something for Tasha for Valentine's Day. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.